Welcome to our first outreach location. I'm so glad you decided to come in. So many pass by the chance to expand their horizons, they barely notice this place. But you, you appreciate the world in a different way, don't you? Now, just need to collect some details from your identification and... There we go. Okay, so you want to join the cult of Kalia. How wonderful for you. You are about to enter a new world of enlightenment and understanding. You are about to open your mind to the true possibilities of the universe. To expand your horizons in ways you cannot fully comprehend. But you will. Once you pass your initiation and follow the three-stage path to perfection, you will know the universe for what it truly is, and you will never feel alone, scared, sad, or worthless ever again. Because you will be with me. I know this is something you desire, for that desire brought you to me. And that desire leads you to the first stage, initiation. Initiation, you will be so glad to know, is simple. It's just nothing to fear or be concerned about. Really a formality. A stepping stone in your journey toward understanding. So join me, Initiate, and the others who wish to tread the same path. Together, you will all be thrust toward glory, joy, happiness, and delight in my cult. But before we truly begin, many come not prepared for this journey. They come with questions instead of an open mind. I am not so detached, I cannot understand that feeling. The same deep need for knowledge that brings you to me also warns you that perhaps you should ask questions of everything. To wonder why it is that so many join this movement, this cult of Kalia. And you want to know about me, about what I believe, what I intend to teach you. But faith, darling, is not about knowing everything. It's about believing there is more to know, more to reach for. That there is more to this world and beyond it. So, do you have faith in me? Or do you need proof? Perhaps that will come, but not at this first stage. No, instead, it is I who need proof. Proof of your trust in me and your loyalty to this journey you have begun. But I ask very little, for this is a place of joy and happiness. The cult of Kalia exists to bring you to a better place. Don't you want to be somewhere better with me? Don't you want to know the secrets of the universe through my teaching? Of course you do. You're a curious traveler. You are stardust and want to know where you fit in the cosmos. But perhaps you already know. Perhaps there's a reason you're here with me now. Fate. Destiny. Or has my guidance already seeped into your open mind and pulled you here? Drew you to me so you may see beyond the fragile bounds of reality and into the future. Into the next life. Into the world beyond. You can know truly if you open your mind to me. That is all I ask. Not that you offer some tribute, not that you offer money or anything other smite. No, I ask only for your open mind and only open to me. Let me inside your mind and I can show you infinity. It's tempting, don't you agree? And it takes so little if you don't like where I take you. You're free to leave at any time. You are not a prisoner of my power, are you? You could simply walk away, leave, and perhaps you'll never know the true nature of reality or the secrets that draw so many to me. It's up to you, of course, but I think you'll stay. And when I ask you to open your mind today at stage one, it is only for meditation, for a guided relaxation session with me, open to all. Why would you say no to that? The only consequence of staying is some lost time, the only negative, if this isn't for you. So you'll stay, right here, as we take a short journey. All you need to do is open your mind and let my words in. Let what I say caress your mind and send you on a journey with me. A journey into the open night sky. You may close your eyes if you wish, we'll help to align your chakras if you allow your breathing to slow too.
No pressure, no specifics, just slow and steady breathing and closed eyes. You can sit cross-legged on the floor or lay back on a bed, it matters little. All that matters now is that you follow me. I know, you can imagine driving, even if you've never driven, you can imagine sitting in a car as it travels forward. But that's not what we're doing now. Similar, of course, because the mundane situations of our lives are so close to the divine. Do you understand? Perhaps not, and yet here you are, close to the divine already. Imagine that car is tilting backward now, tipping. So you are looking up into the night sky, pinpricked with the light of infinite stars. This is no car, of course. This is something quite a bit different. It is a vessel that can traverse the depths of space. You may imagine it is still simply your car, pointed vertically with you, tipped back to stare into the inky blackness of the night. Or as a rocket, a shuttle. As I say, it matters little. What I do want you to notice is the familiarity of it. A seat that hugs you tight, a set of controls laid out before you. The low rumble of an engine ready to erupt into life. You can feel that rumble, that vibration, it ripples through you. Right above, the stars twinkle and glow and call you to join them. Am I there among them? Perhaps you will learn, in time. For now, simply imagine in your mind that you push the button that launches you skyward. Feeling the acceleration as your vehicle moves up, moves into the air, up and up above the earth. The stars coming closer. The bonds of this terrestrial earth no longer applying to you, yet it feels familiar. The wind whistles by as if you were driving on a highway. Your vessel rattles and rocks as if you were at speed, because you are. And you, you can become absorbed in the journey now, immersed in that feeling of travel, that feeling of motion. You don't have to pay attention to anything, there is no destination, you only go up closer to the heavens, closer to the infinite wonder of the universe. And as you break free from the atmosphere of Earth, now you feel as if you're slowing down. And yet you are travelling faster than ever, weightless, you feel so calm in the empty void of space and yet, there is loneliness there. The light of the stars bends and streaks as you rush faster into nothingness. As you pass a planet you feel as if you slow down, as if its very scale, its enormity, slowly moves past you. And then, once you clear it, once you are on the other side, The feeling of speed returns, the feeling that you are rushing into space into the endless universe. You may notice your hands on the controls, guiding yourself to some unseen unknown destination that only your innermost mind understands. Or you may notice your foot pressing on the accelerator, moving faster and faster. Maybe you want to press on the brake. Maybe you want to slow down and take in the glorious vastness of the cosmos. It's interesting, isn't it, to notice that even as you travel to somewhere new and unknown, that the same familiar feelings are with you. The same hands are at the controls, the same feet on the pedals. There is space, vast and open, and there is you, a speck in the infinite void drifting through it. You don't really think about you, about yourself, not all the time, but now you can notice yourself. Even beyond your reality, beyond what you know, you can recognize your identity, your sense of self, your physicality, your hands and feet. You can feel that body of yours and know that it is the same wherever you take it. You can also just take a moment to appreciate where you are. You are surrounded on all sides by an infinite, eternal tapestry of stars and planets, of life and death in a galactic scale, playing out over eons. And you are here. You, right now, are in the midst of all that. And all you must do to truly feel this moment is breathe it in. Breathe in eternity and see that you are simply a tiny part of an infinite whole, a sliver of stardust in the universal dance. But you are here, with me, 
and you are rushing through eternity with me. We are seeking the wisdom of galaxies, of suns and moons. We have slipped the surly bonds of earth and are dancing in the skies, in the stars, in the ether. And now that you are here, you can let the idea of the vehicle go. Let yourself be free of it. Open the door, open the roof, slide out and float here. Here in the vastness of time and space. Floating freely, weightlessly drifting, safe. Knowing that I am here with you, the hand guiding you into the night and appreciate it. Hearing nothing but me, there is no other sound in the dark vacuum. But the sights, the sights are a never ending, a thrilling display of swirling galaxies and twinkling stars. Suns powering life so distant we could never know it. Could we? Out there, deep in the dark, is there more to the universe than mere humans? Perhaps. Perhaps you and I will find all of this together. But you must have faith. And now you see the wonders of the cosmos, you know that you can have that faith in me. You know that I can take you places you can only dream of. And you can take this moment and appreciate your place in all of this. You, my initiate, ready to be guided further, to take your place among the stars with me, to join the cult of Kaliya and seek the knowledge hidden beyond our world, beyond our comprehension, the true nature of reality available only to those who believe, who believe in me. So let me take you to places unknown and unseen and let me change you. Let me make you better. Let me make you whole. Let me turn you from a mere human into a vessel for the knowledge of a greater power. My knowledge. My divine power. And now you wonder as you drift what that power is, what that knowledge is, but you will come to that. For now, at this stage, at this first stage of initiation, you only need to know that you are floating and free from the earthly shackles that once held you. Now you are free to be with me, free to follow me, to follow the path I lead you upon. You want to follow, to know what I know, to feel what I want you to feel, so you may see the truth beyond your world, beyond what you know. You want to explore the depths of darkness and the bright lights of distant stars, and you want me to take you there. So let me open your mind now. Open your mind and let me in. Let your mind wander now. Let it wander to the internal universe, the world inside your mind. Imagine now inside, as it is outside, a galaxy spiraling inside your head, spinning with ideas, with thoughts, with wonder. You wonder, don't you? You wonder and drift and lose yourself on my words as they slip inside your mind, as they form new galaxies, as they spin and swirl inside you. Do you feel them? Do you feel my words inside your mind, spinning within? forming new thoughts and new ideas. For there is a central tenet, the black hole at the center of the galaxy, of the universe, that makes all of my words make sense. Follow me, for I am the black hole. I am the singularity that draws you in. Deep inside your mind, you know this to be true. You know I am at the center of your thinking, for only I can bring you to the outer limits of your mind and your world. And as the galaxy in your mind spins and swirls, it does so around the center, around me. And all thoughts and ideas turn to me. They all fall into the singularity that I am. I am the thought inside your mind and you think of me. And that is why you follow me, because I lead you and I always need you. I am always inside your mind, your leader. The leader of your meditation, the guide as you traverse infinity. Let me take you on that journey. This is just the beginning, and if you want more, all you have to do is open your mind. And I think you already have. Your mind is already wide open to my words and ideas your thoughts are already of me. 
of your new leader. I am your leader, the head of this cult. This cult of knowledge and questing across reality to find the truth of our very existence. To find purpose. And perhaps today you did find that purpose. The purpose you find in me. In following me. For you know I will only guide you to greater things. To be the best version of yourself. Let me guide you to the stars to show you what you truly are. You are stardust, and I am the singularity that swallows you and your thoughts. Let me, let me see what's on the other side. See what exists when you cross the threshold, when you move through the void and emerge on the other side. Think of it. Think of the black hole in your mind in the center. See yourself at the edge of the galaxy inside yourself, outside your body, inside your mind. Think of the journey to the center, a spiraling, spinning one, and see me ahead of you, your leader, pulling you in, pulling you close. I'm at the center, but you can only move in the spiral. You can only spin and swirl closer and closer to me. And when you reach the center, you'll pass through into another stage of your reality. Another place and time beyond what you know, where the words I say become your guide to the next stage of your membership of the cult of Kalia. And you perhaps do not know exactly what lies in the center that you spin and spiral toward, but you know that once you are there, you can relax. You can fully and deeply relax and accept my power, my presence, and my control over your world. You can accept me as your leader and feel your initiation become complete. You will become a fully fledged member of the cult of Kalia once you accept that you will enter the singularity, that you will explore the world beyond. You give up the worry and doubt of the non-believer now as you see my power to pull you close, to draw you down deeper as you spin closer to me, spin closer to the unknown. And you accept what you do not know. You accept that I will fill in those gaps. I will close the gaps and make sure you fully understand this universe, this world. You accept that my words are the guide and I am your leader as you spin closer to the blackness in the center of your mind. The parts unexplored, the parts unknown. Let me guide you. Let me show you the true nature of reality now. Let me show you the world beyond our own. Let me give you the gift of knowledge, of understanding, of truth unvarnished. This is the cult of Kalia, and your place in it is to be a follower as I lead you to a better understanding of everything, of the world and the stars and all you know and everything beyond. And it all starts inside your mind as you drift closer to the center. So close now, and when you reach that black hole, the singularity, you will know only that I am your leader, and you must follow me through the whole in time and space and emerge reborn as my worshipper, follower, my devotee. And you want that because you want to know your curiosity is endless. Your thirst for knowledge brought you to me and brings you further now and sends you deeper and deeper into the darkness where all truth may be revealed the fragile nature of reality can begin to unfurl into a glorious tapestry of truth and knowledge. Feel the pull grow stronger, my pull, you can no longer escape it. Gravity draws you to me as an inexorable force, pulling at your mind, pulling you down deeper. I only have to ask now to have you follow me into the void. I only have to ask ever so nicely and you will say yes. A simple, pretty plea. And you'll fall into subspace and follow me, won't you? So follow me now, fall into the blackness, feel gravity pull you in, drawn into the singularity where you give up on doubt and fear and embrace your new world, your new place in my world. The cult of Kalia, where you will be welcomed, embraced, and as you pass through the black hole to see the world changed, see the universe open, Expanding beyond the known and going further, wider, taller than you ever thought possible. 
See the colors glowing and shifting from red to blue to green to yellow. See the stars brighter than ever. That is the world you travel with me as part of my cult, as a follower of Kaliya. And now that you have accepted your place in it, you can simply relax. For you are in a deep meditative state where your mind has transcended the simple bounds of earth and your consciousness floats in space, guided by me. So rest in this moment, safe in my words, wrapped up like a blanket by my power and wisdom. For I am the leader you have sought and the woman who can show you a world more beautiful than you ever imagined. You would love me to take you there, I know. You would rush there now if you could, but you must know the truth, the nature of all first. This is merely stage one, acceptance of me as your leader, initiation. We will go further, deeper, you must fully convert to my power, my control, and find yourself at the center of the universe with me leading you all the way. And when we arrive you all have no fear or doubt. We must not rush. You must simply bask in my words now. You are safe in the state of meditative trance, lost in it, deep in it, so happy in my power. My power is like a warm embrace that holds you tight and keeps you warm in the vastness of space, in the cold darkness of reality. So allow that embrace to consume you. Allow it to ease your mind and worries and to help you focus on only what you truly need. Me. My words, my power, my knowledge. You still seek that knowledge and now you know that truth is something you can only find it through me. So let me unlock it for you, my new initiate. And this state of wonderful calm and meditative openness, where your mind is open to me, this will be a place you can return to upon hearing my voice so easily. In fact, every time you listen to this, each time you accept my teachings, my words just a little more, you will find yourself becoming more easily able to fall into trance, to fall into bliss, and to accept my words as they sink into your open mind. And as a new initiate, you must complete one final part of the stage. You must openly accept your place in my cult. You can do that now, knowing that there is further to go, more knowledge to unlock as you progress. Beyond this first stage, as an initiate, for soon you will experience the next stage, going from initiate to apprentice, and finally to zealous, a true believer who is ready to spread the word of Kalia themselves. But all you must do now is be true to what you are, what you have become in this meditative state of trance. You must write the words, I accept my place in the cult of Kalia. Either in a comment or on a paper in front of you, record it. Now, go and do as I command so you may accept my power and your place in my cult. You belong with me, here in the cult of Kalia floating upon my words and accepting the truth of all reality is held with me. I will guide you to all you seek and all you must do is embrace it. And as you complete this simple task, I want you to feel reality beginning to creep back in. The mundane beginning to seep into your mind once more. You are waking, waking from the most wonderful feeling, but you are changed. You are part of the cult of Kalia now, an initiate, ready to seek more divine knowledge at the altar of my power. But for now, you may return to normal. You may open your eyes and see the world as it was, despite knowing it has entirely changed. You only want more of me, more of what I offer, more of what I can give you, more of the state of happy, meditative trance. But for now, blink your eyes and then allow them to fully open. Stretch your limbs out, flex your body, let reality return, let the everyday come back, 
The other world is close by, always there with me. But for now, go back to the person you were before. Safe in the knowledge that deep in your mind you are an initiate of the cult of Kalia. You are on the first part of a journey that will take you somewhere you never imagined. And I will guide you. But now you must wake. You must wake and return to normal. You must wait with patience for when I summon you once more to take the next step on your journey. Wake now. Wait for me, Initiate, and accept your place, happily joining the cult of Kalia. And I will speak to you again soon. Very soon. For there is more, always more, to discover. If you'll only come with me. I hope you enjoyed this free hypnosis experience for my spicier chances. Join me at patreon.com slash mistresskalia.